So we have been talking about what? The armor of God. The armor of God. The armor of God. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10, 11. And it starts by saying, put on. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the what? The wiles. Na kuambia hiyo jina hii mwezi na hiyo ingine na hiyo ingine. Tutairudia mpaka unaota. Ambia mwenzako umeota hii wiki. Juu ya wa. Lazima utaota. Tutairudia mpaka ukistuliwa unasema wiles. Eh? Unasema, yes. The armor of God. We will repeat it. Because that is the way we learn. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Verse 11. Eh? Verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand. Oh, verse 10, sorry. Yes, it starts by saying, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And then put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Today's, if you are writing topic, Andika, clothed with the power of Christ. Clothed with the power of Christ. When you are talking about the armor of God, naongea mambo ya mavazi. Kuna kile unava. Ili weze kufanya nini? kupigana na ama kuweze kutana ukipigana na mipango schemes yeah, the schemes of the devil schemes of the devil na ndio anasema baada ya kusoma haya yote anasema finally baadaye mwisho tunafaa kufanya nini tunafaa tuvae mavazi tunafaa kufaa mavazi and i started last time by saying it says this, notice that the armor of God in all its parts, all the parts of the armor of God is how we engage. Anaongea kwamba, this is how. It is how we engage the strength of the Lord. Ni vile ambavyo tunaelewa kutumia nguvu za mungu ama uwezo wa mungu na pia nguvu zake. Bwana asifia sana. How we know how to use his power, his strength. That is really how. Mavazi hatu na vaa, lazima tujue kufitumia. Mwana asifuye sana. So there are things about the armor of God that do not, it is not about our ability. Sio kwa sababu ya uwezo wetu. Ugisoma, it is engaging his strength and his power. Kwa hivyo siyo nguvu yetu. Ni nguvu yake Tujue vile tutaeza kufanya nini Kuyengage, tuweze kuifungulia Yeze kufanya kazi Mwana asifuye sana So when we are talking about mavazi When you are talking about Wearing the clothes The power of Christ Inamanisha ni vazi ambayo Tunavaa ambayo Tunayelewa Na tunaitumia Katika ushindi wetu Mwana asifuye sana Yes Ephesians chapter 7, chapter 1. Tarudi pale mwanzu. Ephesians 1. Ephesians 1, 17 and 18. Ephesians 1, 17. And it says, And the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of what? The spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So he's saying that I want you to have the spirit of wisdom. And I want you to have the spirit of revelation. I want you to be focused on the knowledge of God. That is really what Paul is saying. Anasema ningependa nyinyi mupate nini? Eh? Mpate the spirit of 
wisdom and spirit of revelation. And we are focusing on the knowledge of God because there are so many other ways. There, are so many, there is a lot of knowledge out there. Now, ukisoma hii na kupeleka wapi? Ina kupeleka Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. Yeah? It takes us back there. Because when he says, I want you to have all of this. And then it starts verse 18. Uh, oh, because we'll go back to verse 18. But he says this. You see, that the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. This is Christ. Go back. You know, yeah. um, verse 17. Let's go back to Isaiah first. And then we'll come back here. Isaiah says, And the spirit... And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him who is Christ. Who has what? The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of God. Can you see that? So in Ephesians, what Paul is trying to say, what you need to clothe yourself is this. He's just starting with a small part. Why? And as a you need to close. Mavazi yako inafaa kuwa na nini? Na wisdom, understanding, counsel, might, knowledge, and the fear of God. Haya ni mambo saba ambayo ni tabia, ama these are the characteristics of the spirit of God. Unafaa uvae hiyote. Kwa nini? Sasa let's go back to verse, uh, chapter 1, verse 18 of Ephesians. Because... Paul is saying, I want your eyes, the eyes of your understanding, to be what? Enlightened. Anataka ufunguliwe macho hii. Sasa unajiuliza ni macho gani hii mefungika. Hebu uliza muenzako ni macho gani mefunguka na we una, unaona. Siwe unaona. Ni macho gani hii, hii Paul anasema wafunguliwe. Kwani wa Efeso walikuwa vipofu? And this leads us back. Because there is how we see. If you go to Genesis chapter, chapter 3, verse 4 to 6. Genesis chapter 3, verse 4. It says this, Then the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. Hmm? For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be kwani. Eva likuwa kipofu. Eva likuwa kipofu. Nini ni macho itafunguliwa? The eyes will be opened. Do you know which eyes? Because I have macho there. Come at Eva hakuwa naona, angeona aje tunda. Nikosa wapu uko na macho haina tatu. Uko na macho hii unaona na hai. Uko na macho ya kiroho. Kwa sababu wakati huo, Adam na Eve walikuwa na wakati na mungu. Every evening during the cool of the day, they used to do what? Have time with God. So their spiritual eyes were open. But the devil, ah, shetani ni mujanja. Alitaka macho ingine ifunguliwe. Na hii macho, ni ya nini? Is the eye of the soul. The eye of the soul. Alitaka hiyo macho ifunguliwe. Kwa sababu alijua, ndi haweze kutushika. Haweze tushika na mambo ya kiro. Lakini ya kipata macho yako ya kifunguliwa. And that's where the wiles come in. His strategy is to make sure that your soul, you are using the eyes of your soul. Because eyes of your soul deal with lust. What you want. Kila unataka. And I can say for many of us, if there is anything that cripples us, it is the eyes of the soul. Kile unaona. Inakufanya unatamani mambo. Na vitu. Mpaka unaweka nini? 
Eh, hey, unaweka wokovu wako chini kwa sababu ya kile unaona. Bwana asifiwe sana. Tofauti ni upi? Look at Jesus. Matthew chapter 9 verse 36. Look at Jesus. This is the difference with the eyes. Yeah? This is the difference with the eyes. Matthew chapter 9 verse 36. Huu ni Yesu sasa akiangalia. Yesu aliona namna gani? Huh? He says but when he saw, you can underline that word saw. The multitudes. He was moved with what? Compassion for them because they were they were weary and scattered like sheep having no shepherd. Yes. Macho yake yaliona watu ambao wanahitaji mwelekeo. Aliona watu ambao wamepotea. Ambao wanahitaji nini? Kufunguliwa macho. That's really what he saw. And he saw that they was and that is his, that is the difference. When you look at your neighbor, hebu muangalie. Angalia mwenzako, unaona nini? Wewe niambie unaona nini? Kuna mwingine anaona huyu anaweza kuwa kona ka kitu kwa mfuko. Ah. <laughs> macho. <laughs> the eyes. The eyes. Macho. Yeah. Wengine tunaangalia mtu unamupunguza sana. Si ndio? Unaona huyu hata hata niongeza kitu. Huyu huyu. Uh, Unaangalia somebody ako na madevu amezeeka ako na nywele nyeupe ukimwaga huyu siku zake ni chache zinaendelea zikipunguka huyu sasa ni nini atanisaidia naye but look at how jesus there is something called compassion kuna moyo this is the eyes of christ this is the spiritual eyes and this is how you need to see people ufai kuona watu kama huyu nikimuongeleza ni kwa sababu najua yeye ananisaidia hapana and I've got the other way around. Jesus did not see them and see a crowd. Aone sasa nitajenga nini? Eh? Nitajenga kanisa sasa. Hapana. Ama nitajenga huduma hapana. Ama nitajenga hapana. Ama alikuwa anawaangalia kivigiria sasa hii jeshi. Nikihesabu hapa ninaangalia kile watatoa. Unajua kuna watu wanaangalia ngana mno hiyo. Waangalia ukiona watu unajua sasa offering itakuwa nini guess what jesus did i will not read but do you know what he did after this because there was a difference with how he saw and how his disciples were seeing his disciples were looking na wanaona shida wanaambia yesu yesu unajua hawa jamaa wajakula na hata kama kwa sababu tunakujua unafikiria vile unafikiria unajua disciples hata walimwambia tunaona kama tunajua hao watu afadhali tuwatume nyumbani mapema kabla njaa ingie vizuri ndio wakakula wapi <laughs> kujiondolea nini shida <laughs> lakini Yesu anaangalia na waambia ni waulize ni nini mko naye eh ni nini mko naye and that's really what god is asking what do you have what do you have and the guy says tuko na samaki mbili na chapati tano ama ni mkate mkate tano na nini na samaki wawili akasema let let's give thanks tell them to all sit down waambie wote wakae chini and he took them and he gave thanks and he started to do what to break that is how our eyes of the spirit should be seen where mwingine hapo the other story where he was feeding the 4000 eh which is in Matthew 15 waliangalia wakamwambia hata kama unajua sasa wanapiga mahesabu hata kama tutafanya kazi mwaka mzima sisi wote hesabu yetu haiwezi pea hawa chakula ya siku moja kawaambia sasa mko na nini akasema tuko na chapati saba na samaki mbili akasema let and he gave thanks and broke it bwana asifiwe sana 
Do you know what he had? He was clothed with power. He had what? The spirit of wisdom, spirit of understanding, the spirit of might. He had all that packaged in him and it's the same for you. Buenas if you son. Yes. Because the eyes of the soul are filled with three things. We read that in 1 John chapter 2, verse 16. It is the last of the flesh, the last of the eyes, and the pride of life. Vito vitatu. Yes. Last of the flesh. Lazima wewe. Yani unajua tama. Mutu wana tama. Kiona kitu anaona. Ni kama mutu wali mnyanganya. Nani ya uyu mwingine. Lazima. 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 Last of the eyes. Autoshek. And the pride of life. Let me finish quickly. You know when a child is born in the womb, when a child is born, the child is innocent. Child is not guilty. Womb toto wajatenda dhambi. Lakini ya kikuwa unaona kuna mambo ya ajabu. Ambayo pengine hata siyo we umemfunza ina mfraisha. Unafikiri ya haya yote ya metoka wapi. You know when a mother has carried a child do you know when the way you think affects the child? The way you speak affects the child. That's why when the child is born, there are things they know without knowing where they got them from. It was because of conversations either a father and a mother had when the baby was in the womb. This is what builds their understanding and their culture. Yes, this is what builds their understanding, their culture, their response. Unaona mtoto wana smile. Unachinu wana smile nini. Ni kitu walianza kuelewa. Ukisikia hivi unache. Unacheka. Mama akicheka, anajua inachekwa. Anaanza kusicheka. Hajui kwa nini inachekwa. Yeah. It comes from what is fed to them. Bwana asifiwe. So the eyes of the soul, the eyes of the soul were opened in the garden of Eden. And it responds to your senses, your eyes, your taste, your hearing. It responds to that. And so Paul, when he's writing, because he knows that you cannot escape. Even a child starts to understand and know because of what they were told, even in the belly. So even Paul knows that there is no way of escape. How is it the wiles of the... You can't. Why? Because the devil was there long ago. He knows what makes your family tick. Anajua ile kitu inawangusha. Anajua ile kitu imewasumbua miaka yote. Atafanya nini? Ataitumia. Na anajua inatembea. Na watoto, na watoto, na watoto. Ndiyo kwa sababu anasema, I am writing to you. So that your eyes of understanding may be enlightened, may be opened. So that your spiritual eyes, you may start using your spiritual eyes. One as if you were son. The natural eyes see the fruit. But his spiritual eyes, when they are opened, you start to understand what is God's purpose in your life. One as if you were son. So the methods are there. The schemes are there. And there is no way to evade them. Hakuna design ya kuhepa. If you are born and in this world, there is no way you will. Hakuna design. That's why Paul had to write this. He said, after all of this, there is a way to fight. There is a way to win. There is a way for you to be covered. Kuna jeans. Na lazima tuyelewe. Na lazima tutembe kwa uo. Na ni kujivalisha nguo ambazo ziko na nini? Ziko na uwezo. Bwana asifiwe sana. 
So that's why Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 is written. It is written for us. Eh? It is written for us. It is written by saying, by all of these things I say, finally my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong. Because he knows you will be tracked down. Ata kufuata. Kuna mamo mingi unashanga kwa nini yanafanyika kwa familia yetu. Na yanajirudia. Sijui kama umeona. Kuna mambo yanajirudia. Unatafu, kiftafuta mme, ukitafuta mke, umetafuta kuolewa. Unakuta. Ay, kazi ni kuachana. Tunawachana. Napata wa kwanza, tunachana. Napata wa pili, tunachana. Ukiangalia nyuma, unasikia ata ndugu yako, dada yako. Kazi ni hiyo. Mwisho unakuta jamii yote. Hakuna mtu wamekana jamii ambaye imesimama ni kwa sababu shetani anajua na anajua kile atalete mambo yanajirudia tu eh unakuta mambo ingine hata ya kifedha umaskini umetoka kwa great 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 umaskini unaendelea tu unajaribu mnajaribu biashara hazifanyi kazi kwa nini Kuna mambo ambayo unahitaji kuelewa. Kuna mambo unafaa ujue. Haya mambo, eh? What we are talking about, these things, they will repeat. Umeifanya, umejaribu, umeanalyze, imejirudia. Umefanya tena, umejaribu kuanalyze, imejirudia. Umejaribu, unaangalia ini pattern. Niko sababu jetani anajua. Na anarudia, na anajua kile ya itakuweza. Kama ni mambo ya kuanguka, Unakuta jamii yenu kazi ni watu wanavunja ndoa kwa sababu anaenda analala na yule anaenda analala na yule anaenda anafanya hivi na yule unachindwa ni tabia gani mambo gani hii aishi shetani anajua mwingine anasema nimeokoka kama ni kijana nilikuwa na shida ya pornography nimeomba nimekuja nime deliverance nimefanyiwa nini haishi inajirudia inajirudia Ngine ni masturbation, wengine ni uongo, kuna wengine wanachindo kuongea ukweli. Mdomo tu unajua tu lazima uteleze tu toe kitu. Na inajirudia. Unaanza kusikia mtoto wako anaongea kama wewe. Hai. Hai. Hmm? Najua wale wanaambianga mtoto unamwambia wewe ni kuone ukifanya hivi. Na saa hiyo yeye anafanya nini? <laughs> anafanya Tumefika hapo kwa kanisa watu wanataka kusikia kile wanataka. Si ndio? Eh, second Timothy inasema nini? Hmm? We want to hear what we want to hear. We look for our ministers who will preach the message that we want to hear. Who want to you? Bwana asifiwe sana. So I'll jump to the last point so that I close. There are three things that Paul tells the Ephesians. And we find them, go to verse 18. First, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. There are three things. He says, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what, and that's the first one. He says, number one, what I would like you to know, when your eyes are open, I want you to know what is the hope of his calling. What is the hope of his? Notice it does not say it is the hope of your calling. It says of his calling. We don't have time to go through that. But just write that is number one. Number two, he says, what are the riches of, his, of the glory of the inheritance in the saints? That is the second one. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? That's the second one. We'll plow through this next time. 
And number three, which I would like us now to, that's where it will lead us to the next thing we would like to do. It says this, verse 19, the first part. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe? Number three. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe? And the name that is used there in Greek for exceeding greatness is called hupabalo, 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 hupabalo. Kiandika unaheza andika H-U-P-E-R. B A W L O Hupabalo. And I'll be quick with this one. Hupabalo means beyond. La manisha beyond. Hmm? Beyond. This word was used by the Greeks when they were doing Olympics. When you Olympics, Ilianza Greece. So mwa yanda Olympics, e tuna kimbia, wapendo to me barikiwa na nambio. Ya ukimbia marathon, ya ukimbia 800 meters. Sasa the Greeks were the ones who started with the Olympics. Na kulikuwa na, kuna mchezo wa javelin, sindio? Na mwingine wa discus, yudu kama hizo. Sasa u jinail tumiwa when, you know the great men in those days, there were some great men who when you give them a javelin, a tupe, si kuna kuanga na maali imemakiwa. Si kuna pale pamekwa laini hivi imemakiwa. Pale ukitupa hii javelin inafaa ama ukitupa inaenda, inaenda inalani. Si kuna pale kama limit. Sasa, this great band of old used to throw beyond. Anatupa mbaka inatoka kwa stadium. Eh? Inaitua hupa what? Hupa ball, hupa ball, throwing beyond. And that's what I want us to do today. I want us to think differently about how we have lived. I want us to think beyond the usual. I want us, si umewekewa limit yako nile. Sasa tunataka turushe mpaka inje ya stadium. Bwana azifiwe sana. Yes. Kiwango ya, bin, ya, ya watu, watu wa kawaida ni hapa. Sindio? Unaambu wango kawaida yako ndiyo hii, ndiyo hii, ndiyo hii. Lakini sasa kama tumesoma hii. Anasema ningependa macho yako ifunguliwe mpaka uelewe. The exceeding greatness of his power towards us as believers. Yaani mambo yale tutafanya ni beyond the normal. Beyond the usual. Ukirusha discuss yako, wewe unachenjiwa kiwanja. Kwa sababu kiwanja yako si ya kawaida. Bwana azivyo sana. Yes. When you're doing business, you're not doing business like everybody else. Wewe ukiingia bank, wanagufungulia line yako. Wapendu. Nani anapenda kusimama kwa bank? Hakuna hata siku hizi ni viti. But unawekewa line yako, unajua unaweza funguliwa bank yako wewe. Wewe. Lakini naona kama hamjiamini. Hapa watu ni kama kama watu hii neno haijashika mahali. Wapendwa si ama turudie. Mimi naona kama watu hawajashika hii. Hii imepita. Umezika? Unafunguliwa bank yako kwa sababu wewe Na bank, muna tezea maali mo? Hmm. <laughs> Naona wapendwa, na amu, amuta enda kuwana beni hini nyinyi. Hama amuwelewe. Mina zema hivi. This is what the word of God says. It is says that what is exceedingly great as his power towards us. Who do what? So the question is, do you believe? Ulizi your neighbor, do you believe? Ya kwamba undeza funguliwa. Line yako. Unafika. Wanagu.
Sasa na wanakuonyesha ndugu line yako ni gani? Yako si ya wale. Yako ni gani? Mm. That is what we are talking about. When your eyes of understanding are opened. Your spiritual life there is no boundary to what you can do in Christ. That is clothing yourself with what? With wisdom, with understanding, with might. You are going down that line. You are so filled with the Holy Spirit. There is no limit. Because everything you do, lazima waongeze measurement. Na sio ya nguo. Lakini wataongeza measurement. Umeelewa hiyo? Eh. You are above the normal. But for you, that is what he is praying. I want to pray for you that you are life. Kwa sababu watu wamezaliwa, wakazaa, wakafariki, wakaandikwa born, died. Na ni hiyo ikaishia hapo. Wewe utofauti wako utakuwa nini? Wewe utofauti wako. Na saa hiyo umesomewa hii neno. Na ukaambiwa ni wewe u practice. Hii si ya siku za Musa. Siku za Musa zilipi? Yes, siku za Danieli zilipi? Yes, siku za Daudi zilipita. Za kina Peter zilipita. Sasa ni wewe. Unaambiwa nini? Now I pray. This is Paul. That the eyes of your understanding may be open. Mwana azifiwe sana. Kama wewe ningalikuwa wewe, kama mimi ningalikuwa wewe, ningekuwa nimesimama na hiyo kwanza. Unasimama naye na unaishika unasema Mungu hii neno hata kama sielewi vile mhubiri anasema lakini nimeishika vile inakuja na nguvu ile inakuja nayo ndio niweze kufanya zaidi. Mwana azifiwe sana. Kwa sababu tunaweza kaa hapa kama watu wa kawaida tu. Tuishi maisha ya kawaida tu tunasukuma zile vitu zinasukumwa na wengine na saa hiyo wewe uko na siri wengine ambao hawana Mwana asifiwe sana yes is a time of stretching beyond the normal beyond the usual Mwana asifiwe sana so I, i will close there and i want us to stand up just stand and i will give you one minute even worship team don't come just sit there is one minute. I want you to pray so that I can move to the next phase of what we are going to do today. And then we'll go we are going to go offline from there. I just want you to stand. Just stand and raise your hands. And I want us to read this. And I want you to say this to yourself. Eh jiambi. Yes, remember I want I want this power. This exceeding great power that comes from above because of my eyes being opened bwana asifiwe sana my eyes being opened macho yangu ya kiroho ikifanya nini ikifunguliwa inua mikono nambia mungu ni ah 